This is so cool. I love the cap of them. Ooh, that one is pretty. Look at this one. Hey guys, all right, so right now I'm in Nick UBC booth. They have a bunch of different brands here. They have Jewel, they have Kev Beauty, which I think is that brush that kind of looks really weird. I remember seeing Casey Wolf. She recently just did a, like a first impression on it. And then there is a wet booth here, and then there's also a Vita Loco Auto, which I kind of want to check out. put on her leg right now. Woo! <laughs> Insane! Oh my goodness, I love it. <laughs> hey guys, all right, so we left to go put our bags in the car because it was they were so heavy. Now we are just gonna be heading back into Vietnam. I wanna go visit Maybelline. I wanna go visit, what's the other one? I don't know what the other one was, but we're gonna get a quick little snack first and then go visit the last couple booths and then head out of here. Hey guys, good morning. Look at, I just came, I just got done getting ready and this little one. Hi cutie pie, oh you look so tired. Guess who's coming home? Daddy's coming home. So I just got done getting ready. Um, I'm gonna be filming this morning. Joel's on his way home finally. I had, he's been gone for probably about two weeks now almost two weeks so yeah I'm currently um, uploading a video basically it's I gotta do it to my desktop at my desktop and then to YouTube whatever Final Cut Pro fails for me from going from Final Cut Pro to YouTube I just export to my desktop and then go from my desktop right to YouTube and it just tends to work every once in a while it will fail for me so I have to do it that way so also what I wanted to show you guys is my highlighting drawer. So I recently did a makeup collection video and I don't even know how I skipped my highlighter drawer. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my highlighting drawer right now. So let's go ahead and get into this. All right, so this is my highlighting drawer. It is actually the fourth drawer down in the Alex drawer nine set, whatever it's called. Yeah, so in here I have the same little dividers from that I linked in the video below. So if you guys wanna know anywhere where I got my dividers, I linked them all down there. I think this is from like Vanity Collections. Um, so yeah, I have all my highlighters in here. I have my Lorac ones, I have my Pat McGrath on this side, I have Urban Decay, I have this one from Jouer, um, Becca, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've given, so I used to have the whole collection, I gave one away. Um, cause these aren't my favorite. Those definitely are not my favorite, but I love well, these ones. Lorac are amazing. Starlight is my all time fave. There goes my phone again. Oh yeah, it is Joel. Okay. So I also have the bomb old Mac ones. Like this is when I was getting really into makeup and Jaclyn Hill would always talk about soft and gentle. So I bought that so long ago. I don't know why I still have that. I have a drugstore one in here too. Is this physician's formula? I think it's, yeah, it's Physician's Formula. This one is actually really pretty. Then I have all my palettes back here as well. So I have Becca, Tarte, Hourglass, Sleek. Sleek actually sent this to me a long time ago and everyone raves about it. I'm not, I don't really know why. I really don't think it's that great to be honest. Um, Liquid, another big Hourglass one. So yeah, Jeffree Star one in mint condition. And then I have my glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which I love. This one is in sun dip. I also have um, the other one in that glow. And then I have, here let's go, the ja the Jaclyn Hill Becca one. And then I also have my other glow kit put into a Z palette right there with some benefit stuff and a setting powder. I don't know why that's in there, but I put that in a Z palette just to make more room. Put this away. So those are all my highlighters. I actually have a lot more makeup. Um, not like a ton more, but I do have more makeup. And I'll show you guys, cause I didn't show it in the video just because this closet needs to get more organized. So this is my little walk-in closet here. We have our router right there. And then I have some light cases, um, backdrops, filming stuff, all that. And then these are the drawer systems. So down there holds extra decor, like 
festival decor, you know, for different holidays. And then I have all my travel bags and that one, then more dividers in this one, and then some lights and just stuff in there. And then in here, I just have a bunch. I have like equipment. I have my empties bag, which goes down here. So anytime I have empties, I put them in that drawer. And then I have my giveaway drawer right here, which is like a bunch of stuff. Oh, this is gonna be hard to close now. There that goes. I always save packaging from when I get packages because then I don't have to go buy it. And if you ever want a giveaway, you guys know that I always send in like one of the boxes that I've received. <laughs> so that's why it's always used boxes. Hey, you gotta reuse and recycle, right? So yeah, down here I have, um, I do all my receipts in here. So I do them for each month and I also write them out in a book. So I basically say the price, what it was for, everything, because I expense everything, you guys. This is definitely what you need to do. If you do YouTube, you can expense anything. Anything that you show on your channel that you make money with, you can expense it. Or like write it off, I meant. So did that. I have a skincare drawer in here, which extra skincare stuff that I tend to give away to people as well sometimes. I have makeup wipes. I have just a miscellaneous. And then in here is all my extra hair supplies. So those are all down there. And then this is extra makeup as well that I just don't have places for right now. So in here I'll tend to like go, whenever a friend comes over, I'm like, hey, do you want some makeup? I'll let them raid this because this is a bunch of just extra things that I don't know. I also will go shopping in here if I forget, if I run out. Like, look at, I have this whole set, like beauty. Ooh, I didn't even know I had my cleanser in here. I need to take this out. So yeah, I have extra beauty blenders and all that fun stuff. See, I even have like the little one. Yep, that's that. And then also I've got a giveaway going on right now. I will be filming that shortly because I'm actually gonna be filming that right now because I really wanna get that up tomorrow. I'm gonna try my hardest. Right now, I'm gonna go and get myself some tea downstairs and then I'm gonna eat because it is 10.17 and I need to eat before I film, otherwise I won't have enough energy. Hopefully this video hurries up because I want this video to go live today at five and then I'm gonna probably edit this, but I'm so excited to see Joel, yay! I haven't seen him in so long, you guys. It's so hard and you know what sucks is my sister's about to go away for about two weeks on her, like, she's been married now for over two years, or almost two years, two, three years, I don't know. She, no, two years, almost two years. They got married in September, so they've been married <laughs> for almost two years, and they never took their honeymoon because it's really hard for them to leave for work. Her husband works for Sony. He is actually the lead facial artist at Sony. So if you guys ever see any games such as Uncharted, he does all the face stuff. So the main character, he did all those facial like expressions, everything. He designs all that. It's insane. So it's really hard for him to leave because he's always working on big projects. And then Ashley is a huge accountant for a huge insurance firm downtown in downtown San Diego. So it's really hard for her to leave as well. Like she can't leave anywhere. She can never be out of work in the beginning of the month and the end of the month and then mid-year is usually really hard for her because that's when tax season is. So yeah, they're always super swamped. So now they're finally taking their honeymoon that they never took because they went and got married in a courthouse. I went and had a big wedding. She decided to do the courthouse and then they just took the money that was gonna be used for the wedding and they used it for a down payment on the house. So they were very smart about that. So that's what they did. And um, so now they're finally taking their honeymoon and it sucks because I'm gonna miss her. I don't know how I'm gonna be away from her for two weeks. Like that's gonna be so hard. And it's gonna be hard because I can't call her anytime that I wanna call her. And it's sad, like Joel, I'm like, I get so used to him leaving, but my sister, I'm not. And then now it's, with us being around the corner from each other with houses and stuff, we're, we're, I'm with her like every day. So it's gonna be so hard. I don't know how I'm gonna go a day without her. Uh, I'm getting sad just thinking about it. I just hope that these two weeks go by really, really fast. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go and eat and make some tea. You wanna go eat? Yeah?
I have my iced mango black tea, and then I have my Special K yogurt cereal, which is delicious with some vanilla unsweetened almond milk. Yum! Hey guys, all right, so I just got done filming the huge back to school giveaway, and oh my god, I can't fit everything in this fat pack. Look at this, it's like jam packed. But yeah, Elsa's passed out. Joel should be here soon. I wonder what's taking so long with him. He like, I, before I even got, like changed and got to filming, he texted me saying that he landed. Maybe they went to lunch or something and he just didn't tell me. Lame. Boom, passed out. It is hot in this room. Okay, so I'm gonna finish putting this away. I'm gonna go film my Q and A. So thank you so much to everyone that left me questions on my Instagram post. I think I have over 400. Oh, it's a lot. I'm gonna try to answer as many questions as I can in that video and then I'm gonna look at a lot of ones that are like repeats and answer those because it's then a lot of people ask the same question which is awesome and you can kill two birds with one stone in that way. So I'm gonna do that and continue filming and then that way I can just clean everything up and edit for the rest of the day and hang out with Joel because I haven't seen him in so long. All right, Joel just got home. I have to open the door for him. I'm gonna show you guys what else he looks like when he comes home. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, she's been sleeping. I've been filming. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. Are you happy? Happy dog. Happy dog. Yay! <laughs> Yay, punch and bag. Oh! Are you talking? Mine, mine, mine. Mine, 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 mine. Mine, 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 mine. Oh, Elsa. No, she's not doing it anymore. Oh, when the camera's on. No. <laughs> Dog's tail doesn't lie. Are you happy? Happy dog. Hey guys, all right, so it is about 2.21 right now. I just redid my makeup, put on some lighter makeup because I was wearing more of a fuller coverage foundation and just took off the little false lashes and everything. Right now, just did that. I gotta do, skip my video ready to go live for five o'clock today and then I'm gonna get to editing and doing emails and I have a PO box package, but I don't know if I wanna go. I don't really want to go right now. I'm really hungry. I think I convinced Joel to go and order a pizza tonight. We haven't, I haven't had pizza in so long. And being on my period right now is just like, I want bad food. I want really bad food right now. So I think that's what we're gonna do. I have like a hair on my lip. But I'm also, I don't know if I will end this vlog. I think I'm gonna start editing this vlog and I'll probably end it later on tonight. And it will just be like one long vlog. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go get a snack though because I don't think we're gonna order pizza for another two hours or so. And I need something to eat. My stomach is growling so bad right now. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick little P.O. Box haul. I just went to my P.O. Box. It was weird, I think I only got one email from them on Saturday, ouch. And um, I had like four packages there, I didn't even know. So the first thing is called Vega Lash and I just got an email that this is actually getting sent to me just like a little bit ago, so let me see it. Open it up. All right, so it says that, all right, so Vega Lash is a vegan and natural eyelash growth serum. This won't cause any discoloration and our formula is safe for you. We're looking forward to having you try our product and encourage you to take daily photos for, of your progress. All right, so there is this new product called Vega Lash and it's, I guess it's supposed to be a lot like um, Latisse, which I can't use Latisse. I purchased that thing and I had it and it gave me the worst headaches and then I stopped using it and I went back to it like probably about like two weeks later to see if it, that's what it was causing my bad headaches and I got the headaches again. So I can't do Latisse. So this is supposed to be better for you. So I'm definitely gonna try this out. I'll let you guys know what I think of it. I'll keep it in my bathroom so that way I know to keep using it. All right, so next up, I finally got my Jeffree Cosmetics order. As we all know, the whole thing behind this thing, um, 
it was funny because I actually ordered this a month over a month ago and I got an order number, email, everything, like order confirmation, all that fun stuff. And then when you order stuff, you kind of like forget what you ordered after some time. And I've had other products from him that I purchased from Beautylish that came in right away. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wait until I get these three new, like these three lipsticks and I'm gonna do one big review of them. And so I just kept waiting and waiting. So when I saw Danielle snap, about her Jeffree Star costume, I was like, and then I was like, wait, why am I still holding on to these products again? Why haven't I reviewed them yet? And it made me remember that I was waiting for three other lipsticks. So that got me to going on my order number, seeing when I actually ordered this and realized it was a long time ago. Yeah, so I emailed them and said, hey, where's my order? Here's my order number. I ordered this a month ago. Why is it not here? And the guy was like, Thank you for confirming your um, address with us. We will have your product, we will send you a tracking number within 24 hours. And I'm just like, I never gave you my address in that email. I never confirmed anything with you. I just gave you my order number saying, where's my order at? They straight up didn't fulfill my order. That's like sketchy right there. I don't like that. So I don't recommend ordering through his website. Order through Beautylish. Okay, yeah, so I ordered Mannequin, Rose Matter, and Unicorn Blood. And I thought Unicorn Blood was new, and everyone was like, Unicorn Blood is not new. I know that now. I don't know his products very well. I usually do all my um, research right before I film. Ooh. Ooh, Mannequin's pretty. Oh my gosh, check out Mannequin. That's a really pretty brown nude. Let's do Unicorn Blood. This is kind of like a rusty red. Oh yeah. Oh. Ew, that's gross. This like liquid thing came out of it. Like it dropped out liquid, but it's like not, it's like kind of watered down pigment with little like specks in it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, it's just really, really watery. Are they supposed to be that watery? It's very like liquidy, you know, in a sense but like watery, like it's like the pigment and everything is not mixed right. I don't know, that's weird. Okay, so the last one is called Rose Matter and this one looks so pretty. Let me just shake this. I don't know, I'm like scared. Oh, this one looks pretty. Oh yeah. That is definitely one of my shades right there. That one's really, really pretty. That's a really pretty rosy pink. I like that. Awesome. All right, so I ordered two of the Airs um, metal matte lipsticks because those are my favorite ones. But I'm kind of worried right now because everyone's saying that the metals are coming in like half full, but everyone's mainly saying that it's Kai Majesty, it's nothing else. So I'm worried about that, but it looks okay. I'm not gonna like, you know, experiment on it because this is for a giveaway. I don't know, that's weird. But I got two of those to add into there. And then I also picked up Expose because this is a gorgeous color. And then I also have Coco K, which is my favorite. And Elsa's scratching at the door. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. That way I can edit it tonight. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It's kind of like a mix of Beautycon and then like my little day to day. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys enjoyed it, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.